Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today we got us another tack pack. That's right, a tactical pack, pack attack of tack pack, a pack of tack. But before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and ring the notification bell so you do get notified when I upload new content. And with that, friends, we're going to get us to a tack pack. You ready? Let's do it. Alright, so we are back with TacPack, and as always, if you are interested in this particular subscription service, there will be a link to them in the description box of this video. This is a monthly subscription box, and they have three for you to choose from if you are so interested. They have a light version, which is light on your pocketbook, and that runs, what, 30 bucks a month? And then they got the standard, which runs you $50 a month, and then they have the plus, which is $129. I hope them prices are right. Sometimes, you know, they be up in the prices and everything because of these truff, you know, these trifling times that we're in. But anyway, let's get to the card, which of course is buried at the very bottom. And, you know, they just give you this little printout. I'll see if it'll focus. Hopefully it focuses. And yeah, this is Tack Pack Plus. And let's see, Happy New Year, kicking off 2024 with a bang, including a slew of new, never-before-seen brands. Okay, that's that's cool. Dig in and enjoy. All right, so we've got a list of stuff which I'll look at toward the end. We'll go over all that, and we'll look at some stuff that we got here. Full force, full force gear. Okay. This is a Cat 2 double pistol case. Okay. So we got some padded internal compartments. We got reinforced carry handle. We'll have to, we'll have to open this up and check it out. Well, it's in a big old Ziploc bag. Sweet. Okay. Okay, we got a, got a nice little place here for some Velcro. Put a little more uh, morale patch on there. We got a little side compartment here. Let's see. What is going on? What is going on here? Uh-oh. They zipped up. They zipped up the zipper. Or no. Oh man, they, they, oh wow, that's crazy. They, uh, how did they do that? Check that out. This zipper pull is stitched into the bag right here. Hopefully that'll show up. But yeah, it's stitched into the bag. That is craziness. I can fix that though. All right. So anyway, back on track. Okay, so we got a little compartment here that does have some webbing around it that you can put some stuff in. Okay, let's get into the inside because that's, that's what we care about is the how is this thing segmented? How is the compartments? Okay, so we got a, we got a, not, not a clamshell, but it zippers down and these are padded and it's just two compartments. It's just one here and one there. And let's see. This will this will definitely fit a full size frame. It's not gonna fit. It's not gonna fit something like my 44 Magnum or my hmm my Taurus Raging Judge will not fit in this bag. But your normal, just your standard, you know, your standard stuff will fit just fine. And one thing I do like about the zipper pulls there, you can see the zipper pulls have little eyelets that come together, so you can run a lock through it. You know, so no one. Well, I mean, I guess they can just run off with the bag. But anyway, you can you can lock it up, put your little block on there if you want. So that's something. That is something. Oh, we got a stall, oh, man. Man, I like this now. This is a cool sticker right here. How you like that? You like that sticker? Check that out. Bam! Look at that. Now that's that's for my generation right there. That's a little Beavis and Butthead all kitted out. That is cool. I like that. That's cool. I like that. Add it to my sticker pile. All right. Okay, so we got something from a company called Timber Creek. We got a dust cover. It's kind of a, uh, it's kind of a dark, dark beige. Like I don't, I don't know what 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 would you call what color? Would does it say what color it is? Uh, it says it's weight reduction. Okay. 
Anyway, let's see if I, there's probably going to be a ton of glare, but you can see it's like a dark coyote color. Okay, so we got a dust cover. All right. Okay, all right. We got some, we got some, some little wraps here for some, for some magazines. That's cool. You can just wrap these up, you know, and they got their, let's see if I can do this. You see they got, they got your caliber on there. You know, just so if you've got, you know, different, different mags loaded, especially if you're, well, let's see, what, what looks similar? Hmm. About to say 300 blackout, but I, I can tell the difference. You know, you can look at a 300 blackout versus, versus a 556, 223. You can, you can look at them and tell. Let's see. I don't know right off the top of my head, but this is just makes it, you know, for organization, you know, if you've got a bunch of mags, you know, that are all different calibers, which I don't know why you would just have them all thrown together to begin with. But anyway, you can wrap the, you can wrap, you can wrap the mag with, with one of these and have some identification. At least that's what I would do with these. I'm assuming, okay, I'm assuming that's what, you, that's what these things are for. We'll, we'll, we'll get, get into the little book here. Hopefully I didn't make my look, myself look really dumb. Let's see here. Infinity targets. Now, what is this? Shoot, spray, repeat. Okay. Okay. I've never seen this product before. Okay. Smells weird. I don't know why I just smelled it. But it smells like it smells like doo-doo. And I hope that stuff don't get all over everything. Okay, so what we got here? Apparently, this is one of those like uh Okay, it's it's a rubber. It's a kind of a rubber material. So what it's going to be, the premise of this is going to be like a self-healing. It's going to be like a self-healing type situation. Uh, let's see. And when I say self-healing, it's just meaning that the, the bullet, you know, won't perm... Well, it will. I mean, this thing will wear out after so many so many hits, but... We have some of this stuff at our range, you know, and we, I've, so I, I have, I have not experience with this company and this product, but I have experience kind of with this type of, of stuff, right? This kind of stuff. So, yeah. But anyway, it, it's small. I mean, I mean, man, that, that's small. That's really small. So, yeah. Okay. But we got that. And maybe, maybe I could do a, maybe I could do a video, uh, actually going up. And putting this thing up and, and hitting it a couple times, seeing what it do. We'll see what they say, because there wasn't much information on this. So maybe the, the card there will tell us like what calibers they recommend this for. I mean, being that the targets are small, I would assume, you know, definitely not big bigger bigger targets. I mean bigger calibers. By that, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pop this with my, you know, like my any magnum round how about that you know maybe maybe handgun or stuff like that so yeah okay so we got something the last thing in here and this is everything so we got the bag the the little band the little band deals the dust cover this infinity target and then we got this thing from halo optics this is a laser laser range finder a cl 600 and this thing is good for how many yards because i man i could i could use this if it's good for some serious yardage uh and it is it says 600 yards reflective, 300 yards for trees, five times magnification in a scan mode. Okay. And the minimum, the minimum yard is just 10 yards, and then the max, like I said, on the tree is 300 yards reflective of 600 yards. Okay. It says this thing is water resistant. It only takes two AAA alkaline batteries. Okay, so I can't put, they don't recommend putting lithium ion batteries because I, i've been on a kick man I, i'd be buying them lithium ion batteries you got to be careful with that kind of stuff uh if, if you're buying uh the like the energizer or whatever the lithium ion batteries for double a AA and triple a you got to be real careful because there's some products out there that you can put those batteries in and they're not made for it they're not made for the lithium ion batteries and you can mess some stuff up so just be careful with that you know don't want nobody to mess their, mess their stuff up. And don't ask, and I'll tell you what, I'll tell you one thing. Don't ask me how I know that. Just, just, just know that stuff that's made for alkaline batteries, sometimes it's not the smartest idea to put lithium ion batteries in. Just saying. I'm speaking from experience. 
you can you can funk some stuff up. And I don't know why I'm taking this out, taking the time. I'm wasting your time taking this out of the package because I can't use it sitting here. I just wanted to see, you know, like what it was and, you know, how, how it feels in your hand and, and all that kind of stuff. Okay. All right. All right. Does it, does it have a, let's see. Have to have to put some batteries in it and turn it on and see what kind of what kind of cool doodads you, you get to see when you look through it if it gives you a point or something like that. I'm pretty sure it gives you like most all range finders, you know, when you look through them, they give you the it gives you the yardage and and all that kind of cool stuff. Okay, so this is something I, I will definitely try this out and see how it works because the one I use now, the one I use now is one that I got in a in a set for my uh, Sig Sauer Kilo 1000 BDX system. Uh, the BDX system is really cool because when you buy this this uh, this system, it comes with the scope and the rangefinder. And the rangefinder is really good. You know, it's 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 something similar to this, but it Bluetooths to the scope. And once you zero your scope at say 100 yards, you can you can range find something with the range finder and shoot a range, you know, with it. Like say you're hunting a tree line and you know, you pick a tree where you see deer going out across, you can just take the range finder and shoot the tree, right? That the deer come out of, if there's a path or something and you can shoot that tree and it will Bluetooth, it will talk to the scope and it will adjust your reticle for you. Cheating, I love it. All right, let's see. Let's go to the car here and see what we got. Okay, like I said, we are rocking the $130 box. This is the Tac Pack Plus. Okay, so we, the first thing on here is the Infinity Target. Okay, it says this one has been a long time coming. Denser, thicker, and stronger. I don't know about that because the stuff we got is definitely a lot more dense than this stuff. Uh, it says this synthetic balli uh, ballistic blend is still 100% recycled while, while also being 32% lighter and 30% longer lasting than the original target. Okay, so this is some type of, of 2.0, if you will. It's an upgrade from their, their original offering. Self-healing up to 110 rounds per square inch. No ricochet. Safe in close quarters. Reactive hit. Simply spray paint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it doesn't give me, you know, what range of, of caliber it is for so okay but i'm assuming because this thing's not that big it's going to be for small it's going to be for small calibers okay then we got the full force a gear cat 2 pistol range back and by the way we have no prices there's no prices on any of this well there's price on one thing uh let's see then we got the bag then we got the timber creek billet dust cover usa made uh let's see this is you know usa made fits any mil spec upper ejection ports so there you go then we got the faxon magazine bands so these are magazine bands which is what i thought they were it says are you tired of mixing up your ammunition that that you keep stored in magazines look no further than faxon uh firearms magazine marker bands these bands allow you to quickly identify which magazine contain what type of ammunition and of course uh being the tack pack we've included the 556 five, bands but yeah because these guys they love 556 five, because they have one i think once a year or something they have a box and, and i have one on the channel where it's just all the box is all 556 five, stuff so yeah that's just really cool and then we got the beavis and butthead sticker okay and we got the halo xl 600 rangefinder this is a 140 dollars item it says it delivers big on tech and value standard features include a water resistant design 600 yard range 6x magnification which I appreciate because I can't see. So the more magnification, the more magnification I get, the better. And scan mode for constant ranging. It's also equipped with AI technology. So we got we got a little bit of got a little bit of Skynet up in there. Okay. All right. Cool. And they give you a hint for February, which I don't care about because we care about it when it gets here. That's the main thing. All right, guys, so this is what we got. Uh, let's see, what do I think? I, I, you know, I can do a video on this if you guys want to watch. I can either post it here or post it on, on somewhere else, you know, that rumble tumble, you know. 
Okay, dust cover really don't need five five six bands. You know, I, I don't I don't I don't really have a need for this because like I said, the only other thing I would load would be would be my subcon three hundred blackout. And I can I can look at it and tell I can tell the difference by but just by looking at them. So I, I don't know if I would need this. But you know, that's something. And 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 the range bag here the dual range bag would be something that I could use. I definitely sometimes I carry definitely carry more than one pistol when I go out. I definitely carry more than one, but I like being prepared. So when I go to the range, I carry my big midway bag and I don't like not having it because I love having all my stuff there because you never know. You never know what you're going to do, what you're going to need. And this little bag right here would probably cause me to have anxiety because I would be thinking of the stuff I should have brought that I didn't bring because of the bag. And that's just 100% me. That's all me. And I'm, I'm curious to try our little Halo CL600 rangefinder. So I will have to tr give this thing a, a test. And you know, one thing I could do since I have uh, multiple, I do have multiple rangefinders is I could test, you know, I could shoot, you know, I could stand in a place and I could hit, you know, a, a particular range with, with multiple range finders to see how accurate they are. Kind of test them against each other. I could do that as well. If that would be something you guys would be interested in, let me know. Sound off in the comment section down below what you think about this box from Tac Pack. This is the Tac Pack Plus. Uh, what do you think about this stuff? I'm, you know, I'm, I'm excited about the little, inf the Infinity Target just to try it out. And, you know, the range finder is something that, that, you know, was nice. But yeah, you know. I'm kind of 50-50 on this one. I kind of like it, and then I kind of, yeah, it's like, meh, I'm sorry. Right. All right, so that's it. That's all I got, guys. Hey, if you made it this far, sound off in the comment section down below if you like this box. What you think in here was good, if you have any experience with these products, because it says this is new brands of products. And I'm assuming maybe that refers to this Target place, although they said this was like an upgrade, so this isn't a new company because it's obviously been around if this is a improved variant of their product the halo company i don't know i've never heard of these guys but just because i haven't heard of them doesn't really mean nothing because i don't get out much so i don't hear of a lot of these companies so they're all new to me so i don't know that's all i can say about that all right i said i'm out of here i'm going to talk for just a minute after you know i'm done which is now so please give me a thumbs up if you don't mind i'd appreciate it on your way out the door if you're going to hang out with me and hear me kind of ramble just sit tight because we're about to do it right now so I hope you're doing well and hope to see you again. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure the tube ain't unsubscribed and you don't know why they do that. It's kind of weird. But anyway. All right, guys. Send them out of here. I love all y'all. Peace. Now we're going to talk. All right. I like this. I like this box. It's not bad. Uh, but for me, for you know, the problem that I have with these boxes is the fact that I'm probably the hardest customer that these boxes have to provide for because I get so many and I've I, and I have received so many boxes for so long. I'm pretty sure someone would look at this channel and they would just look at all the videos and they'd be like, God dog man, I hate to be sending a box to that guy. Cause you know, I'd be they'd probably be afraid I'd be so critical. And what I was afraid of was that Target putting crap all over my table. And it did just that. I'm going to have to vacuum this thing again. I just did it. Okay. Oh, uh, my, my gift here of my lava lamp. I have to turn it on way in advance of doing a video. Because the, the lava, takes it takes it a while to get hot. And it was just a, you know, it, 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 it kind of started go, going up. But it didn't form the, the bubbles. The lava bubbles. It's getting there though. It's gonna take it a minute. I've had it plugged in for a while. So yeah. Alright, so let's 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 go through some comments real quick. Because uh I've been busy. I know that's the excuse, and I give you guys that excuse all the time about me being busy. But uh yesterday we kicked off in Mobile here. We kicked off Mardi Gras. So I I pulled in a Mardi Gras parade and I did take some video. But the, the weather was real overcast. It was supposed to rain. And so I didn't take a ton of video. But, you know, if you guys, you know, would, would like to see that type of content, you know, I, I can definitely put it out 
for you if you you know if, if you like to see it. But uh, I did one last year too, so there's a video out there. Uh, let's see. Dennis says uh, on monthly knife club, which I am gonna do a video. I got another monthly knife club box. And I still got to go through the two giveaway knives. And I got to start the giveaway. So we're going to get into that too. Uh, he says, uh, great, uh, another video, Knife Club. Thank you for your video. Uh, thank you. Thank you for watching, all of you. If, you, if you're if you hanging out here to, to listen to me kind of ramble, I appreciate you. I appreciate y'all for real. Uh, let's see. Then he says, thank you again on Going Gear. So he's, he's going back and he's watching videos, man. I really appreciate that. Colin says, my favorite reviewer. Holy crap. I appreciate that, buddy. Although, you know, I'm, I'm really going to start changing my content. Uh, uh, Colin, I, appreci I appreciate you, uh, buddy, for, for being here. You know, like I said, all of you, I appreciate all of you for being here. But uh, I, I'm going to start taking out products and filming using them and then giving my completely sometimes biased, you know, not professional review. So, yeah. And then I got a guy that says that uh, Roger, Roger something says, you seem to like to talk and talk and talk. And it makes your videos boring and aggravating. That's interesting. That's interesting. I, you know, I can see boring, but just because I'm talking in a video, it's aggravating. You ain't going to make it on YouTube, dude. That's all I got to say to you, uh, Mr. Roger. You ain't going to make it on YouTube. Because I've there's people that I watch that I just, man, I can't. I'm going to tell you one of the main things. And I try not to do it, is um. People that say um. Um. Uh. uh I try not to do it. And I probably let a couple slip. But I try not to do it. I can't stand that. That's just, oof, man, it drives it's like nails on chalkboard. Okay, and then we go back to five days ago, uh, Pew Prep Trek. Everybody, I man, I had a couple people comment on my pants. My pajama bottoms, man. God, dog. Pew Prep Trek did it. Ed Wolf did it. Man. Okay, listen. All right, I'm going to go off on a tangent real quick. Those are some Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse, uh, they're just the fluffy, you know, pajama bottoms, right? I wear them when it gets cold because uh you know if you don't know this window even though i've got some thermal some thermal insulation in the window this is an exterior wall and, and this is an exterior wall so this room when it's 20 degrees outside it this room gets a little cold because i shut the door to do the videos so it gets cold in here you know when it's that cold outside so yeah but i will admit i do love Walt Disney. Just so we're clear. This foolishness that is Disney today, I, I don't I can't rock with it. Uh, I am a huge fan of uh, being an engineer. I'm a huge fan of Walt Disney. Uh, he was an, he was an amazing uh, person. Uh, he was a very forward thinker. He put a lot of people on and uh, you know he's, he's I'm not gonna say you know he's a hero or anything. But he's just a person I have a tremendous amount of respect for. And I think it's absolutely atrocious, uh, the people that are now running his company into the ground. Uh, it makes me sad. It really makes me sad. Uh, yeah. Timothy says, I'm glad you are back and up. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep, every, keep everything going. But I just, uh, you know, my wife is coming down to the end. We've got about two more weeks uh, of, of chemo, and, and she'll be done. And then we, we have to, you know, kind of go to the next stage, which is going to be prepping for surgeries. And uh, that, that, that'll go into another thing. And then hopefully we'll be done, hopefully. Uh, and, you know, just everything going on. Uh, and, and this is something I did want to ask, you know, run by you guys that are still watching. Uh, I was going to start doing more like vlogging type of videos where, you know, I just kind of like now there's been a, what five six day gap of, of content but you know i've been busy doing things and my thing is you know i have a i have a gopro which is what i usually film the videos when i'm not sitting here because this camera that i'm filming with i don't take it out a lot so i use my little gopro and you know would you guys be interested in seeing some vlogging more vlogging style type 
of content because I'm thinking about doing that too. And I just want to see what you guys think because I may just do it anyway. And if you watch it, you watch it. If you don't, you don't. But, you know, that's just kind of how it goes here on the tube. You really have no control over, uh, have no control over that. But other than that, there's been a lot of stuff going on on the tube, man. There's a lot of videos been popping up in my feed of people quitting, uh, people talking about quitting. And I have a lot of thoughts on that, too. Now, I don't know if you guys would be interested in that, you know, because I see the other side of it from a, I guess, if you want to call me a content creator from a content creator's perspective, I kind of have a lot of different thoughts on what's going on with that and this platform in general. But, you know, that's something, you know, if you guys were interested, I could do a video on it, I guess, and or do a live stream because I got my, my video card back in today, Saturday. Hopefully, this video probably won't go out today. No, because it's, it's late already. It'll go up tomorrow. But I got my video card in yesterday and got it put back in. Everything works fine for now. So hopefully that'll continue. And I'm going to fire up a live stream and um, try to get some talking points together. I've been using the little bag that I got in the last box. What, what box was it? I don't even remember. But the little sling bag from East West, I absolutely love the thing. So I am officially carrying around a man purse now. So I'm carrying around a black tactical sling bag. And yeah, if you guys want to know about that, we can, I can talk about that as well. But other than that, I hope all of you have been doing awesome. Awesome. So yeah, I'm going to get out of here because I don't want to keep rambling. But uh, yeah, we're going to get into the monthly knife club stuff. And probably going to start another giveaway maybe this coming week. Uh, maybe Monday we'll start another giveaway. So yeah, hope you, all of you guys are doing awesome. And stand out in the comment section down below and let me know what's on your mind. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.